So friends, I'll share with you today a quick recipe for a kheer. It's a sabudana kheer. So this is the milk, about 400 ml. Now this is around one bowl, small bowl of sabudana. These are cranberries. Now it's a little of my twist to this kheer. So I have chopped them, soaked them overnight and chopped them. This is the roasted up or the ruavza. This is the water in which I have uh, soaked the cranberries. And this is milkmaid, Nestle milkmaid. Now it's time to cook. So here we have, we add to this milk. Yeah, so that's the first ingredient. And while we're at it, we add this elaichi and we put the sabdana. Well, let it come to a boil. In between, we keep stirring it. Not too much, but yeah, in between. It would be good if you take a little, you know, a bigger bowl so that it has more surface and the milk comes to boil quickly and when it's happening then you just lower the gas a little pull it on sip now we quickly add our next ingredient this is the roasted up and you can also use the guavza there you go this is a little bit of that water in which i've soaked the cranberries and then i let it cook for a while now this right now has a nice flavor of elaichi roast syrup as well as some cranberry water now as it starts to thicken you can see these these sabudanas are beginning to swell up and when they are swelling up the milk the kheer is also thickening because of the simmer and now is, I think, is a good time to add some milk made. Oh, I just love when this is happening. Milk made is so tasty. It's such a lovely product. I just love it, especially in the desserts. Of course, in the desserts, it's sweet. So it's amazing. Now we will stir it. Beautiful. Wow, there is no need to add any sugar into this because it has the roast syrup as well as the milk made and the cranberries will go into it, will make it sweet as well. Keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. Well, now it is thickening up beautifully as I can feel. When I stir it, I know it is thickening up. So it's now is the right time to add into this. Beautiful. Yay. Successfully. I'll scrape it up later too. And what I need to do, just quickly mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up, mix it up, yay! So it is nicely, it will mix, lovely. So friends, congratulations, now our kheer is almost ready. It has thickened up nicely and has got a very nice color. I have tasted it. It's very nicely you know sweet enough not too much sweet and not less sweet just the perfect about and now because you know I think it's right if I just uh, turn it off because when it cooled down it would also thicken up so it's good so you can see this color and this consistency is perfect now we let it rest now our key has cooled down, 
as you can see make sure it's thick and now we will just serve it i have frozen some glasses some martini glass and it goes like this nice Here we have ready our beautiful cranberry sabudana kheer. Nice. You can see this. There are sabudana and cranberry. So this, my friends, is the lovely cranberry rose sabudana kheer. Now after this, this can be kept in a freezer. For some time till it sets uh, that's how i like to have it you know chilled and it will taste lovely so it's ready this beautiful kheer with cranberries sabudana rose and another interesting thing that you can do with it is pour it in these shot glasses and let it set you can see it's beautifully set and you can garnish it with tutti frutti, your kids will love it. So this was it. Thank you very much friends for watching and uh, do leave your comments and subscribe to the channel and hope to see you again with some new recipes. Thank you.